it's really great to be here in San Francisco. Um, I'd want to just echo some of your comments. This is one of those technologies. Um, I've, I've only been operating now for 15 years as a, as a attending a consultant. Uh, but this has really been the most exciting technology, which when you see it work for the first time, there's a little switch that flicks in your brain that you just think, you know, yeah, this is it. This, this works. This is going to be extremely useful. So it was a number of years ago that I sort of first um, encountered this. This is the new box. Uh, we had a slightly uh, the, uh, older, older fashioned box when we first started, but the system is really just so simple. This is a very lightweight box. This is the generator. It's portable, rechargeable. Uh, it's not plugged into the, to the, to the mains power when, when you're actually doing a case, but you charge it up beforehand, charges up very quickly. And then there is a nice connector here. So pl plug in here, and, and this is the, this connector cable. And really, this is where all the magic happens, just by pushing this button. This is the magic button connecting to the IVL catheter, and then at the tip of the catheter, the balloon delivering the energy. So the concept of lithotripsy, well, many, many of you, maybe like me, have had kidney stones. I've actually had lithotripsy. Um, that was a prerequisite for me becoming an investigator. Um, so a kidney stone, not a very nice thing, but a very not nice solution. Cracks the calcium, stone goes away. So really this, this wonderful idea um, of just putting that technology, lithotripsy technology, miniaturizing it and putting it inside a balloon. A simple solution, a, a beautiful idea, and if it works, well, fantastic. So, well, let's just have a look at this graphic, uh, uh, this cartoon of, uh, that Shockwave have made. I think it's a, it's, this is, a, I really like this, uh, this cartoon, it's great. The, the system you've just seen, the lights glow green, you have to press the button. You've got the balloon here with the emitters with, inside the balloon, which emit the energy. So plug it in. At first, it's orange on the bot this bottom button. You press the button to activate the catheter. That turns green. And these are the lithotripsy emitters. So in the peripheral balloons, there, there, are, there are these three emitters. Or within the coronary balloons, we, we have two emitters. So really, this is a very atraumatic way to deliver energy, which can drastically modify calcium. This is really a lovely picture. You can imagine this, whether this is a peripheral vessel or within your coronary. You've got a calcified, heavily calcified vessel. You inflate the balloon to a low pressure, four atmospheres. This is not about the force of the balloon, the pressure of the balloon. This is about just getting apposition with the vessel wall. And so the energy is then transferred. So when the, you press the button, the energy is then delivered. It's really as easy as that. Press the button, energy delivered, calcium is cracked. And the very first case that we did uh, was a, we, we were using OPN balloons in, in Europe. So these are balloons which go up to 40, 48 atmospheres. And we had a truly resistant lesion uh, we knew that shockwave was coming and the trial was coming. And this dog bone balloon, we pressed the button, the balloon expanded within, within the first few uh, shocks that were delivered. It's really, uh, really a very uh, elegant piece of uh, technology. So looking at this in a little bit more detail, what's happening at the level of the emitter? So. You press the button and there is a spark in, in the emitter here. This creates a, a steam bubble effectively, so within the contrast. And it's as that bubble is contracting that it generates the acoustic <coughs> pressure waves. Now you can actually you know, hold it between your fingers and you will feel a little tap, but certainly there's no uh, electric shock that you would get. It, it's actually the energy is created, it's mechanical force from this cavitation bubble. And you can, you can appreciate the differential effect of the, the shockwave energy. On the, the, these are these uh, gypsum rings. And you can see you press the button, and these are cracked, and they fall off. But you can actually just hold it in your hand. 
And in fact, you, all you will feel is a little tap on your fingers and you'll see, you'll see the spark, you'll see the light. And you end up really uh, with a, a very nice demonstration here. If you're looking with OCT, we've done a lot of OCT. We generate these, uh, these cracks within the vessel wall and we're able to deal with eccentric calcification. Concentric calcification is really where it comes into its own. It's got applications in peripheral arterial disease and coronary disease, and it's really going to be used, I think, anywhere that there is calcium. So it may be a standalone treatment. It may be something you're using for vessel preparation. It's an alternative to surgery, and I think we're, we're going to see some cases about enabling transfemoral access.